Okay, so at the end of the last video, I talked about how the top portion of the rocket where the clay sat needed to be reinforced because in every trial in the last video, the clay end plug kept blowing out each time. So to solve that, I came up with a new design where there's going to be a shorter section of pipe that attaches to a coupler with a washer and then another little piece of pipe, and that little piece of pipe holds the second stage. And you can see it pretty clearly right in these drawings. And as an added note, there'll be a rocket with four inches of fuel and a rocket with four and a half inches of fuel. Okay, right here I'm adding some duct tape to both sides of the washer just so that the clay and the fuel don't spill out through the washer when it's being packed. Okay, so the whole rocket is packed up till the fuel right there. And now it's time just to add this coupler on, screw that on, and pack in the last bit of clay right here. I couldn't do the clay right now because I gotta put the screws in first. Okay, now the coupler is on as you can see, and it's time to add the last bit of clay. Okay, and I can see the clay has been added right there. Okay, and this motor is complete, and as you can see, the second stage fits pretty nice. And here I got it drilled. And that just sits right in there like that. And it'll be ready for external components tomorrow. and a half inch fuel test with the coupler version six oh oh my god All right, four inch fuel test. Oh shit, get the shield, oh shit.
<laughs> I was like, I don't know if I want to gamble my arm getting clipped. <laughs> God damn. Okay, so I'm going to go over what we recovered real quick and show you guys the shrapnel that we found. You can see they failed in different ways. The one on the right, the 4-inch motor, did not have a full casing burst. However, the coupler completely shattered and that ripped free and broke off from the main body. However, the 4.5-inch motor just completely blew up, as you saw in the video. We were initially pretty disappointed because we thought we'd done everything to strengthen the first stage and eliminate failure points with the addition of the reinforcement of the top section. After thinking about it a little longer, it kind of boiled down to the fuel. That was the last thing that hadn't really been iterated. And what I'm starting to think is that it's burning much too quick for PVC. The PVC material just isn't strong enough to contain the pressure that's built up during the rocket. As you can see, we've done all we can to reinforce it. There's not really much of a better way, and it's still having full casing ruptures. So for the next iteration, iteration seven, I'm thinking maybe an, an addition of baking soda or something like that, just to slow down the burn rate, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, dude, we should build a dam in here. That'd be fire. <laughs> Bro, Imagine just blocking up all lake. this. Yeah, make a little lake. 